Rosa Parks was waiting at this bus stop on Montgomery Street and boarded bus number 2857 after work on December 1st, 1955. Less than two blocks later, where the Rosa Parks Museum is now located, she would be arrested for not giving up her seat to a white man. Are you going to stand up? No. Rosa Parks replied as quiet but firm. I'm asking you again, are you going to stand up? No. Well, by God, I'm going to have you arrested. You may do that. By this careful choice of words, Rosa Parks is defining herself as a protester and not a victim. When a woman named Rosa Parks sat down on a bus in Alabama and wouldn't get up, she's sitting down with the first lady tonight, and she may get up or not as she chooses. We thank her. With a heart or a little song, if I can show somebody may. And he preached the three dimensions of a Christian. And they were thinking before he got here, oh, he's a young man, young boy. We're going to be able to mold him and train You all, know, Dr. King came and he preached that message so they realized he was no novice. He was a man of substance and presence and knew what to say and how to say the things we love about him right now. Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was pastor, that the African-American community leaders met following the arrest of Rosa Parks. They agreed on two things. First, they would boycott the Montgomery buses, and second, they would form the Montgomery Improvement Association to lead and organize the effort, and they immediately elected Dr. King as president. Little did they know that the boycott would last over a year but successfully end with the desegregation of public transportation. And little did they know that Dr. King would be thrust into the national spotlight to help lead the civil rights movement. Those opposing the civil rights movement destroyed the front porch of this home of Dr. King and his family in Montgomery, Alabama. While his wife and children were inside, dynamite exploded on the porch. His family escaped unharmed, and Dr. King rallied for peace and a nonviolent response. In 1965, following the Selma to Montgomery Voting Rights March, Dr. King gave his famous How Long, Not Long speech at the bottom of the steps leading to the Alabama Capitol building, just across the street from Dexter Avenue Baptist Church. I come to say to you this afternoon, however difficult the moment, yes, sir. however frustrating the hour, it will not be long no, because truth crushed earth will rise again. Yes, sir. How long, not long, 